We are thrilled to have celebrity chef and author Aida Mollenkamp here with us who has an elegant, easy spin on flatbread pizza. Join us on Get the Dish, where we find out the secrets behind signature dishes from famous chefs and eateries and show you how to recreate them at home. So Aida, what do you have for us today? This is a flatbread pizza with some blue cheese, bacon, arugula. It's kind of like the perfect thing you could make for, I don't know, weeknight meal, for a great easy party, and of course, for a good Sunday fun day football day. Because every guy loves bacon and every girl likes the salad, right? Right, so it's a happy <laughs> medium. But you can make it super quickly because I've got a couple of shortcuts for you. Great. I've got these potatoes that are already diced with onions and you just throw them in the pan like I have here. Give them about 10 minutes and then just let them cool. And in the meantime, if you will open the pizza crust. I love using store-bought pizza crust for things like this. When you're cooking for a big group, it just like cuts down on the prep time, you know? Well, that's the thing, especially on game day, last yeah. thing you want to be is in the kitchen, slaving over, you know, making potatoes from scratch. Well, it's so frustrating that when you're the cook, you end up, like you said, in the kitchen the whole time. So how did you come up with the idea for this recipe? I mean, really for me, blue cheese and bacon is a classic, uh, right? It's good on salads, it's good on everything. So it's kind of like a Cobb salad migrated over to a flatbread because in my opinion, everything's better on bread. All right. First put down okay. this little parchment paper and then this will just make it easier to deal with. So just put a little bit of flour and I always say you wanna feed the chickens. You're like throwing it ever so slightly. <laughs> I love that. And then just Go ahead and you can either make it kind of rustic and free form it or use a rolling pin and get it to perfect shape. All right. Sweet. And then because there's two of us, I say we make individual pan oh, pizzas. Oh, I like that. Okay. Cute. Actually, let me borrow the knife and get <laughs> these scallions ready. Basically, we're going to top it with the blue cheese, the mozzarella, and a little bit of the potatoes, put it in the oven, and then all this stuff like the bacon and the arugula, that'll all go on at the very end. Now, why do you choose to do the bacon at the end as opposed to putting it on raw and letting it crisp up? It won't really crisp up properly okay. raw. So you want to cook it totally separately or you're gonna end up with like weird half-cooked bacon. Okay. And nobody wants that. There we go. Now, you know, what other toppings can you put on top of this flatbread? You could add something like a basic tomato sauce or some pesto sauce. Ooh. I also like adding shredded chicken, caramelized onions. It's Kind of a you want it, you put type of situation, yeah. you know? So it's actually a good way to use leftovers, to be totally frank. So just put enough mozzarella to give it a good base and make sure you leave a border so that, you know, there's actual something to hold on to once you cut it into flatbread pieces. Add the blue cheese now. All right. I'll add the potatoes to both of ours. So yummy, and it smells so good. I know, it already smells good. We haven't even put it in the oven yet. And really, I think what the key is here is you could put this all together with stuff you already keep on hand. So you want to stock up mm -hmm. before game day. You know, have the refrigerated dough, have the cheeses. Look for those opportunities so you too can enjoy game day. So I will give you some scallions. Okay, thank you. And then just go ahead and put those all over the top. Give it a nice fresh crunch. Exactly. Okay. And then Aida, how long are we going to bake these for? Just until the bottom's golden brown, the cheese is melted, and the potatoes are nice and golden. So about 20, 25 minutes. Great. And the reason we use the parchment is so it's that much easier to transfer to the baking sheets. Awesome. Let's go bake these. Okay. Off to the oven. All right. So we just got these out of the oven. Now what? Well, we're going to top them with the arugula, the crisp bacon, and then this little sour cream mixture right here. I love arugula. It's so peppery. I, I like using the baby arugula as opposed to the wild, so it's not overly peppery. Right. Um, and then the crisp bacon, you know, if you wanted, that could be prosciutto. Or you could totally take this a different direction and put, like, smoked salmon on here. Oh, so wow. You've got some topping options. That's a great brunch idea, too. Right? So just go ahead and drizzle some of the sour cream. And to me, that's the finishing touch because it kind of brings it to that kind of bar food thing where you've got the bacon and the blue cheese and the, and the sour cream. It's kind of a long, That's what really makes it wings. game day. Yeah, right? I don't know. You need those three things for game day, in my opinion. Oh my gosh, you can just hear the crunch. I cannot <laughs> wait to try it. Yum. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Oh, I love arugula and bacon. Right? So good. Good for game day? Mmm, perfect for game day. This is something everyone could like. Girls, guys, whatever. I know. Equal opportunity flatbread. <laughs> Aida, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Oh. And thank you for watching. You can find this recipe and more entertaining ideas from Aida on Pop Sugar. I'm Brandy. We'll see you next time.